All right, so the first bit of news that I want to cover today is the announcement yesterday made by Netflix um, that they are going to make, be making a documentary called Quarterback. Um, the documentary apparently gives unprecedented access into the lives and into the uh, mic'd up scenarios of a quarterback. All three of these quarterbacks, Patrick Mahomes, Kirk Cousins, and Marcus Mariota, were mic'd up for every single game. Um, and apparently, I guess, a camera crew just kind of followed them around all year to just see kind of uh, what was up with them. So I, I, I think this is really cool. Um, I don't know if you guys remember, um, there was that Netflix show called QB1, uh, and it had Justin Fields in one of the seasons. And it was kind of the same concept, but those guys were in high school, right? So they didn't, they weren't achieving as much. They didn't have families. They weren't making millions of dollars. In the case of Patrick Mahomes, they weren't winning the Super Bowl, winning MVP and winning Super Bowl MVP, which um, I think that's the really cool thing here is that uh, Mahomes had a fantastic season and apparently it's just all been caught on camera. So that's really, really cool. Then you have Kirk Cousins, who is, I think, a good quarterback. Um, no, not great by any means. And then you have Marcus Mariota, who is one of the worst. So I like the, the three kind of disparity levels uh, to where we're getting one phenomenal quarterback, one good quarterback, and then one like really bad quarterback. Um, if I'm not mistaken, didn't Marcus Mariota like leave the team at the end of the year? That's kind of why Desmond Ritter was starting games. Um, whatever. Who am I to judge? Um, but yeah, so Netflix is doing a documentary and I kind of wanted to talk about that and to give my thoughts. Um, like I said, I think of this really cool idea. I think any content that um, gives us more of an inside look, gives us more depth to these players, um, I'm always going to be a fan of. Um, and apparently, like this is in um, cooperation with NFL Films. For those of you who aren't, how are you a football fan and not know NFL Films? They're great. They've been putting out amazing content for years. Um, so good to see that the NFL films and Netflix, they're kind of working with a big streaming service to give us fans like um, this kind of good show. Now, I don't know if it's going to be a show like Hard Knocks, where it kind of comes out once a week and um, we kind of get like maybe we get, you know, 17, 20 episodes one week. I don't know. Maybe it's just going to be a, a 10 episode miniseries. I, I'm not totally sure. Um, but I do think it's very interesting and I do think that Netflix, um, they know, they know what they're doing, partnering with the NFL. Uh, I feel like Netflix is kind of falling off a little bit, unfortunately. Uh, Stranger Things is definitely still going strong, but Netflix needs, they need another hit, right? Um, and I think they got that with this show. So for Netflix, this is a big W. For fans, it's a big W. Um, and I hope that it becomes like a yearly thing, um, where... And I kind of like I kind of like the surprise of us not knowing until just now, um, but I kind of hope it becomes a yearly thing where, like, at the end of every year, three quarterbacks were just randomly mic'd up and and filmed throughout the whole season um, to see kind of who what what to do for the documentary. Um, I kind of like that idea, um, and I would love to see like and if, I would love to see like Aaron Rodgers and for them to just catch his tantrums like on camera in 4K. That would be really cool for me. Um, what else? You know, I don't know. I think that this is really cool. Um, I really liked it. I, I saw it yesterday. I think Ian Ian tweeted about it. So I just want to kind of briefly discuss it with you guys um, and talk about it. But um, let me know what you guys think about the Netflix documentary down below. If you're on YouTube, if you're on my podcast platform, I, I get questions all the time. Like, hey, how can I reach you if it's a podcast? Just DM me on Twitter. Um, I have my Twitter probably everywhere. So you can just DM me on Twitter, leave a comment, leave a like, whatever. Um, but yeah, let's go ahead and get to the next segment.